do a Google for Robinson Crunch Mode. It's the very first link that comes up. Robinson as in Crusoe, Crunch and Mode. Um, I don't think that's a Brit, an English expression, but I think you can pro all probably guess what I mean by Crunch Mode. Right? I have three final exams and they're all tomorrow, and I haven't started studying yet, and it's 10 o'clock. I am now in Crunch Mode. Okay. The reason I want you to look at that is that that is a very good, readable, if you enlarge the point size a little bit, summary of what we know about the long-term effects of sleep deprivation and overwork on people's productivity. I'll give you the brief version, then you can dive into the programming exercise. Henry Ford was no friend to the working man. But back in the early 1900s, before there were unions... He could play around with the length of the working day and the number of days people worked at his factories. He could say, if you want to work here, you're working a 10-hour day, six days a week. Or, you're working a 7-hour day, five days a week. So he did. He did the experiment. He just kept varying the working hour and the number of days until he found the one that maximized total output. He was not interested in worker happiness, long-term health, anything like that. He was interested in squeezing the most out of people. To his surprise and everybody else's, he found that a five-day work week of eight hours per day maximized output. Because beyond that, people were getting so tired that they started to make mistakes. And the cost of fixing the mistakes greatly outweighed the extra productivity of being there in the factory for, you know, Saturday morning. Okay. Isn't it 35 hours like it is <laughs> no, the, fi the, figure is, the figure is actually around 40. Um, it changes based on whether it is repetitive physical labor or intellectually demanding, but the error bars are actually pretty narrow, right? And there isn't much variation between people. I want you to read this, and then I want you to get your supervisor to read this. Because if you stay awake overnight, if you pull an all-nighter working on something... By the middle of the next day, due to the effects of sleep deprivation, intellectually, you are the equivalent of somebody who is legally drunk and unfit to man a vehicle. That's the effect. If you've been awake two nights running, right, you wake up Monday morning and it's now midday Wednesday, you have the mental capacity of somebody whom the courts would judge unfit to care for themselves. You should not be programming or trying to write your thesis or anything else at this point. The kicker is, it's all in here, the kicker is people who are sleep deprived don't realize how dumb they are. Just as people who are drunk often don't realize that they're drunk. It's exactly the same effect. You don't notice that you're making bad mistakes. You think everything's fine. You can see the implications for programming. This myth that good programmers, you know, caffeine and 72 hours in the garage and they write the next great game is a myth. It doesn't work like that. It is physiologically impossible. You can feel like you're on a roll. You're writing crap. Okay? And there's very little you can do to control for that. Small doses of amphetamines will buy you an extra four to six hours of useful time at the cost of a very serious crash afterwards in intellectual capacity. Right. That's why snipers use them. That's why occasionally surgeons are licensed to use them. Right? I need an extra two hours in the operating theater. It's one of the few cases in the United States where you're allowed to use a controlled substance. Right? But those are very, very rare cases. So, please, Robinson Crunch Mode, first thing that comes up, Let's dive in. Let's write a little bit of code. As soon as you've got some downtime, look at this and get your supervisor to read it. Get your colleagues to read it. If you're now a lecturer, get your students to read this. Okay? In my experience, most will ignore it. They'll say, yes, but I've got all these deadlines. I have to stay awake. I have to work really hard and, and produce garbage um, rather than get a good night's sleep and do it in 30 minutes tomorrow morning. 